Phototherapy is a second-line treatment prescribed for moderate to severe psoriasis when the first line of creams, lotion and ointment fails. It uses ultraviolet light rays to treat psoriasis. Sunlight contains different wavelengths. There is infrared which you feel as the heat from the sun, and also ultraviolet rays. This wavelength is what causes suntan or sunburn and is what we use for psoriasis treatment. Due to the nature of psoriasis and how UV light affects our skin, the exact way phototherapy works is unclear. However, a general understanding is it stops the overproduction of skin cells by either damaging their DNA or locking the DNA to stop cells dividing. Phototherapy comes in different forms. Firstly, we have ultraviolet B or UVB for short. This is a shorter wavelength that is part of the UV spectrum and is present in natural sunlight. UVB penetrates the skin to target the affected skin cells to slow its growth. There is also ultraviolet A or UVA. This is the longer wavelength that forms the majority of the sun's UV content. Unlike its counterpart, UVA does not work well on its own. It is usually used in conjunction with a plant-based chemical called sorelin to increase the sensitivity of our skin to UV light. The use of sorelin with UVA is known as PUVA. Some studies have shown that PUVA is more effective than UVB, but it is also less practical. So UVB is more commonly prescribed nowadays. Phototherapy is administered over a course of a few months. It requires 2-3 to three sessions a week, with 20-30 to 30 sessions in total. Further sessions may then be prescribed depending on the individual. This treatment exposes the skin to the UV light over a set amount of time. It follows a regular schedule where UV exposure is gradually increased as your treatment progresses. This is to allow time for your skin to acclimatize to prevent burning. Phototherapy is offered in a few ways. You have full body units or even handheld units. Handheld units may be administered on your own by purchasing the equipment. To treat the whole body, a phototherapy unit large enough for an adult to step in is required. UV emitting tubes surround the interior of the cabinet and some people may feel claustrophobic, but most will get used to it. You can also exit simply by pushing on the door. There are fans in the cabinet that offer ventilation and controls the temperature as well. During treatment, you must wear goggles to protect your eyes and men must wear genital protection. After the UVB treatment, patients are recommended to avoid direct sunlight. PUVA may be prescribed when UVB is not suitable or ineffective. It can be useful on the thickest of plaque psoriasis. PUVA works similarly except that it requires the patient to increase their sensitivity to UV light. This is achieved by taking sorelin tablets 2 hours before treatment. The entire body including your eyes will become more sensitive and the effects last about 24 hours. Therefore, patients must avoid prolonged exposure to direct sunlight on their skin and eyes. Like most treatments for psoriasis, Phototherapy carries its own risks and side effects. The most common for both PUVA and UVB treatment is a mild sunburn reaction. This usually occurs in the later stages of the treatment, where the exposure to UV rays are longer. Phototherapy is also thought to increase the risk of skin cancer. For men, there is an extra risk of skin cancer in the genital skin, which is why appropriate protection must be worn. PUVA is more risky in this regard, but it is also less commonly prescribed. Although you may find some relief with tanning beds, and some may consider it an option if the schedule for clinical phototherapy is too disruptive. Most tanning beds uses UVA light instead of UVB, and without sorelin, it will be more difficult for the UV light to have much effect. Even though you may find some UVB tanning beds, the wavelength they emit may not be optimal for psoriasis treatment either. You are also not following a fixed schedule of increasing the duration under the UV lighting as your treatment progresses. Moderate amount of sunlight is fine in general as it consists of the entire spectrum of UV light. 
so it can actually be helpful for psoriasis. However, prolonged sun tanning or sunbathing also carries the risk of skin cancer, so take note of that. It is important to keep up with your treatment schedule to extract the maximum benefits. Missing a session or two may require a reduction in UV exposure first in order for your skin to acclimatize again, so it may hinder the treatment. Phototherapy aims to give the skin the optimal amount of UV light to treat psoriasis. With that in mind, we should avoid additional exposure to UV light such as sun tanning. Moisturization is recommended, but be wary of products that contain chemicals that increases the sensitivity to sunlight. Hopefully, this video covers all the basic things you need to know about phototherapy. As with all treatments, not all will work for you, and it is extremely important to check with your doctor first before starting any treatment plan.